Right, so this is a worked example involving uh, both forces, uh, Newton's second law of motion and kinematics. Um, this one, though, is a, is a vectors problem, um, fairly straightforward, but uh, actually illustrates one or two quite useful and interesting things. So let's have a look. In this question, one, zero, and zero, one denote unit vectors, which are horizontal. It means horizontal in a rightward direction and vertically upwards, respectively. Particle of mass five kilograms initially at rest at the point with position vector 245 is acted on by gravity and also by two forces, 15 minus eight and minus seven minus two uh, in Newtons. Find the acceleration vector of the particle. Okay, so we're not told what the acceleration due to gravity is here. So we're gonna take it as 10 meters per second per second. So uh, when we think about that in vector form, then this is, it's obviously there is no acceleration due to gravity in the uh, rightwards direction, but there is in the, in the downwards direction of 10. Um, however, our frame of reference has positive going up. So our acceleration due to gravity is going to be, um, as far as this question is concerned, is going to be zero minus 10. Uh, so now we can apply Newton's uh, second law of motion equation here, F equals MA, first of all, uh, because we need to find, uh, well, we've, we, we know it's been acted on by gravity. So there is then a force uh, which results from uh, the acceleration due to gravity acting on the mass of the particle. So we have to work out that force. So that is a kind of third force in, in addition to these two. And uh, that's an application of F equals MA. So there's a force equals mass times acceleration. And that's going to give us a um, force of naught minus 50. OK, so now we've got that in terms of force. We've got the, now these three forces acting on the particle. Um, and to actually work out their net effect, we just add them up and that's going to equal equal the mass, which is five kilograms times the acceleration, this acceleration being a vector. Uh, so uh, yeah, so what, what we need to do is just add, add those together, then divide through by the, about, and we get that, and then we divide through by a scale of five, and that gives us an acceleration of eight fifths and minus 12. Okay, so minus 12, so that would be um, the downwards in actual fact, because our frame of reference is upwards. Um, so that is the answer to part uh, part one. Uh, we might also say we could have actually looked at this a different way and said, well, the acceleration is the sum of two accelerations. They're vectors, so we can you know, we can add them together. So we've got the acceleration due to gravity and the acceleration due to the two forces. Acceleration due to the gravity, we've just two we've we've said is is this, and they. Acceleration due to the force to the forces is going to be the sum of those forces divided by the mass. So that'd be one fifth of the sum of these two. So if we work all that through, we get eight fifths minus twelve, exactly the same, obviously. Um, but we've just kind of looked at it slightly differently. Okay, second part of the question is uh, a kinematics question. Um, so we're looking for the displacement. We've got. Um, the initial velocity is is zero because it says it's initially at rest. We've got the acceleration we calculated in part one, and we've got the time um, because we've uh, we're told it's after ten seconds. Now this is our our familiar kinematics equation for displacement. The only thing is that um, well, normally when we're talking about linear kinematics, we tend to assume that the initial displacement is zero, that, that, that we're basically starting off from, from, the, from a reference point of zero displacement. Uh, so any displacement we accumulate as a result of the, of, of the initial velocity and the acceleration over this time um, is, is the totality of the displacement. In vector problems, uh, we often have, we are often are given a starting uh, displacement. And sometimes, you know, one of these components is zero, but the other isn't. In this case, neither of them are. So, um, so we do need to take this into account. 
so uh, if we put this on the left hand side of the equation of course it would be s minus s naught so it would be the change in displacement so that's that's kind of more or less what we're looking at um anyway i put it over on the right hand side of the equation and we can just plug in all the things that we we know so obviously we know that uh, uh this term is going to be zero because the initial velocity is zero we've got half times acceleration from the right hand side and uh, t squared which is going to be 100 10 squared is 100 and so if we just work that through there we get this vector here and that basically is uh, is the displacement i probably should put meat uh, the, the the units on there um um meters so this is displacement from our reference point and it's the same reference point that relates to this of course okay so uh that is that um so hopefully that has been useful and thank you for listening